G'day and welcome to another Aussie bloke info film. In my last video I showed you guys how you can use a program called TenGraph to locate some good and legal ground to fossic and prospect on in Western Australia. Now if you remember at the end of that video I gave you an example of some overlaying that I'd done in 2011 which was quite a number of tenements which I had individually downloaded from TenGraph and overlaid onto Google Earth. The long and the short of it was, that was a process that took me two to three weeks to get all that information together. At the end of that video, I posed a question. What if I could get one file to provide all that information for the tenements? And what if there was one file which contained all the Mindex information? The good news is that there is, and in this next video, I'm going to show you guys how you can access all that information from TenGraph without actually having to use it. So sit tight and enjoy. The first thing we need to do is we need to go to the West Australian Mines Department website. Okay, and there it is. From here, we go straight up to the site map. Don't go to the search bar, go straight up to the site map. And you'll see the site map opens up and you'll see online systems. If you scroll down, you'll see a tab that says Data and Software Center. That's the one we want. Click on that. That'll bring you to the Data and Software Center page, and you'll see down there a little world icon and a hyperlink next to that. We need to click that. And what this page now presents is a whole lot of information that you can download from the West Australian Mines Department website, including geological maps, uh, being 100K, 250K series maps, 250K topo maps, all sorts of really really cool stuff but what we want to concentrate on now is this little tab down here that says mineral information so we expand that and we now read down the list and you'll see third from the top you'll see tenements current in brackets live and pending that's the one we want we'll also be going down to this one here further down which is mines and mineral deposits mine decks so we'll go back to tenements now simply scroll across but hold your mouse hover your mouse over the download hyperlink and don't click it continue to scroll across to the right and then work your way down the list until you see Google Earth KMZ file zip now that's the one you want you want a zip file, that way you can save it to your computer, put it somewhere where you know how to find it, and you can open it at any time you want. So we click on the zip file, and simply follow the prompts. Okay, we want to save it, uh, save it to an easy location, I'm going to save it to the desktop, that way it's easy to find. Okay, so now what I've done is I've just saved a very important file which contains every current live and pending tenement in Western Australia. I need to do the same with the Mindex files. Down to Mindex, once again, just hover your mouse over the hyperlinks, continue across until you get the zip file. Click on that and follow the prompts. And again, I'll save it to my desktop, that way it's really easy to find. So believe it or not, those two files that we've just downloaded contain all the information that we need to find that legal ground in Western Australia to prospect on, just like I showed you in the previous video. This is a shortcut way of getting that info, a lot more information, a lot quicker. So, let's now check this info out. Okay, so from here I need to go and find those files that I've downloaded, and there they are on the desktop. Let's drag them up to an easier place to get to, there we go, 
two zip files, we've got Tenements and we've got Mindex. So we'll open up the Tenement one first. You'll see two Google Earth files in there, being KMZ files. I'm going to click one of those and I'm going to open up the live Tenements for Western Australia. Now these are massive files with a lot of information. And I'll go back to Google Earth. You can see it says it's not responding. It's because it's such an incredibly large file. And here it comes now. Now what we've just loaded up on the Google Earth is every single live tenement in Western Australia which has been updated in the last week. That's every single tenement. Now just to give you an idea, we'll just pick a random tenement anywhere and I'll click on it and there you go, you've got the information coming up on Google Earth of what that tenement or that polygon on Google Earth now represents. Thinking back to the previous video when I overlaid them individually, I uh, clicked on one of those once I'd overlaid it onto Google Earth and we got the same information. But now, instead of just having one or two, we've literally got the whole state, which is a hell of a lot of information at your fingertips. Okay, so that's the live ones. Okay, we can just scroll across here and we can untick that box and that'll now turn that off. Now here comes the fun part. We'll now open up the pending tenements, okay? Because remember, pending ground's what we need to be looking for, because pending means you don't need to get permission to go on it from any leaseholders, being mine leaseholders, prospecting leaseholders, or exploration leaseholders, okay? So we'll click that, and once again, it's going to open up every single pending tenement in Western Australia. And it's all been updated within the last week. Once again, it's a massive file, so it's going to take a few seconds to open up. It's thinking about it. And here it comes. And there you go. You see all these blue tenements all over Western Australia, and they now represent every single pending tenement. Now, thinking back to the previous video which I did, you'll see here... We we'll zoom down to sandstone, and there's all the pending ground in sandstone. Now, what I can do is I can go back over here, I can click the live tenements tab, and up now comes all the live tenements as well. So I've now got the whole state of Western Australia being represented by live and pending tenements. So, we'll concentrate on sandstone because that's the example I gave in the uh, previous video. What I'm going to do now is I'm now going to pull up the Mindex information. We're going to open it up in Google Earth. So I'll turn that off and I'll turn the live tenements off. We'll go to the desktop. We'll open up the Mindex zip file. And there, you'll see a KMZ file. We'll double click on it. Now again, this is a massive amount of information. This is literally going to show every known mine deposit prospect in Western Australia. And this is not limited to gold. This is every resource within the state. Once again, it's a massive file. And you see it's now, it's starting to kick in. And if I zoom out, you can see there's a hell of a lot of information, okay? Denoted by two things. We have label for each icon, and we have a color code for each, each icon. The label is specific to the Mine Department databases. So the color is specific to the type of mineral it is. So, if you go over to the left-hand side here, and you just expand the Mindex tab, You'll see two more little folders open. And what we want to do is we want to turn some of that information off because there's so much information, it's actually quite hard to read. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the Mindex labels. So over on the left-hand side, you'll see where it says Mindex labels. Turn them off. Okay, what we need to do now is we still need to narrow down the information that we're looking for, which in our case is gold areas within Western Australia. So to do that, 
we want to turn off all the other colors that don't represent gold. To do that, we need to unexpand the Mindex folder. And you'll see below, down the bottom, right underneath the labels, a folder which just simply says Mindex. We need to expand that. And as you can see, now that we've expanded it, you'll see different types of minerals are now represented being the top one being alumina, base metals, construction materials, energy, so forth and so on. So once we've located the information which we want to see, which is precious minerals, we need to turn all the other minerals off. So the only way to do that is we need to unclick all the other minerals that don't represent precious metal. And while we're doing that, you may notice that all the other colors are now disappearing. So there you have it. You have the whole state of Western Australia now represented by all the live tenements and all the pending tenements and the major and all the known gold deposits within Western Australia. I'm going to zoom in a bit more. And there you have sandstone. So as an example, we'll zoom down to this little group here. So right here we have a pending tenement, okay? It's an exploration lease, but it's in a pending state, so therefore it's public available ground, no permission required. Within it, and this is what we really want to know, is we've got some mines. So if we zoom in on those, okay, we click on those little icons, Okay, they'll tell you what it is. In this case, it's an actual historic mine, okay, called the Missing Link, and it says it's gold and gives you all the information there. Another thing that you can do is you can highlight the uh, tenement by clicking right click, uh, going down to properties. You can change its color just so it stands out from all the rest, makes it a bit easier to see. Okay, make it a bit thicker than one, maybe up to two. You can zoom out now and you'll see that's a massive pending tenement uh, in the sandstone area. So all that ground essentially is available. Just be aware though, you'll see some other small tenements in and around it there. Now they may be live tenements sitting under that pending ground. So you just need to be aware that just because it's blue doesn't mean to say that it's not overlapping onto a live tenement. So you need to check that. Okay, so there you have it, a very uh, easy, a quick way to get a state's worth of information at your fingertips. Another great tool from the Mines Department in Western Australia. In my next video, what I'd like to do is I'd like to show you how you can actually convert those individual tenements from Google Earth to sit on your HEMA Navigator or your Aussie Explorer. If you look at one of my previous videos, you'll see that I showed you how to convert Google Tracks to Aussie Explorer format. It is essentially the same process, but I'm just going to go through and give you an example how I can collate that information which I've pulled off uh, 10 graph, then onto Google Earth, and then put onto my Aussie Explorer, thus making life really easy when I go out prospecting. Thank you for watching. Thank you.